Hey Bonnie Babes, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I really wanted to talk to you guys about um, shipping for online business, specifically what I do with Depop. Not many people are going into depth with shipping, so I really wanted to take the time to just explain to you how myself and also one of my friends on Depop does shipping. Um, there's basically two methods. I also wanted to talk about um, packaging and also a few tips on how to get on the explore page. So let's get into it. The first option is you can choose to ship with Depop. When you're posting an item, you'll get like a drop down menu basically when you go into the shippings tab. And I'll post this all on the side right here. You'll get like a drop down menu basically that um, lists a couple different uh, sizes for packages okay so there's like to my knowledge there's like an extra small there's a small medium large and extra large um, they all have different prices so they're roughly based on weight so 8 ounces 16 ounces over a pound 2 pounds etc you'll also have to um, confirm your address so you can actually put multiple addresses in that box um, you'll have to send like an address that you're shipping from which is going to be generated on the label so that the customer can see where it's coming from. You also designate who will pay for shipping. So there's another drop down option, which I'll show as well, where you can choose if the buyer will pay for shipping or if you will pay for shipping. So a lot of people do like to get free shipping, so that's a good way to start if you can handle or you can absorb the shipping cost. So you always have that option to ship those items uh, with Depop, okay? And that's usually the easier way to go just because Depop will generate the shipping label for you. They will basically do all that back end work. They do take that chunk of the money, of course, because they are making the label, but it does save you honestly a lot of time. Now, I personally have never done this, but in terms of self-shipping, there's a couple options, of course, that you can use. You can actually go straight to the post office, they can weigh it, they can package it, and then you can see how much it's gonna be from there. Again, um, I've never done that, so I can't give you the best advice in terms of that, but there is another way you can self-ship. You can always use third-party shipping. Um, the one that I use specifically is called Pirate Ship. Now, that one is awesome. So all you have to do to use Pirate Ship actually is create a free account, it's completely free, and then you just get the customer's information, you input it into the system, and then it generates a label for you as well, based off of, of course, weight and sizing. You can create single labels, so that's usually what I do. I'll go into the single label um, little tab right there. I'll show you here um, what it kind of looks like. So. You'll have place to input the, the name, the phone number, if there's a company, if there's an apartment number. Um, and what's really cool too is it auto populates most of the time. So you don't even have to put in the full address. It just kind of auto generates. Then you'll actually see, it'll say um, ship from you or ship from your address. You can also use another address. So that's another feature that you can use. It'll also ask what kind of um, package you're sending it in. So whether you're sending a box or you're sending like a padded envelope or even there's flat rate box pricing in there as well. I usually stick to the box or the padded envelope um, as those are typically what my items fit in. And then lastly, it'll ask you for package dimensions and package weight, okay? Now it's super important I would say to kind of measure this out. Just getting started, make sure you're getting the appropriate measurements and appropriate weights to input in the system. That way you get the best calculation for pricing. In terms of international shipping, there's a few more steps you'll have to go through. You'll have to hit that customs button, which will give you a drop down where you'll have to sign the customs declaration as yourself. You'll have to describe, you know, what you're sending to the person, the approximate value, uh, the weight, basically that information. There'll also be a little box for the harmonization number, which I personally have never filled out and my packages have gotten to their destination just fine. It'll generate the same label basically. You'll just have to fill out that extra section. And you would go all the way down to the bottom and click the green button that says get rates. Now, once you get to that specifically, it'll generate um, the, the information for you. You can buy the label at that point if all the information is correct. And then once you generate the label, once you paid for it, because your credit card is linked to that account, it'll just charge your credit card for the shipping. Once you purchase the label, you can just print it out and just stick it on your package. You can drop it off to the post office. You can even schedule a pickup. 
Um, so there's a couple different options with that as well. Now, the great thing is with both Depop's internal shipping service and also with Pirate Ship, they both have track shipping, which is really, really important, okay? Now, we want to make sure that we get something with track shipping because that's really your only protection against, you know, something happening in the shipping process. If the customer says they didn't get their package, um, that's really your only protection, okay? So I would suggest always getting track shipping. Now, just a couple tips in terms of shipping, okay? You will more than likely want to get a kitchen scale. So I, you, you can make do with what you have. I have like a 40 year old kitchen scale. Well, that one, I mean, I literally have it and it reads out in grams and I just do a conversion from gram, grams to ounces. So you can make do with anything. You can even get like a simple kitchen scale on Amazon. Um, kind of like this one right here. I'll link this one. Um, so you can get a kitchen scale anywhere. You'll know the weights of the items. You can even, um, get approximate prices to customers. So that's why I think it's really important to have that kitchen scale because then you can streamline the process more so in terms of shipping. There's also in pirate ship, a little tab called, um, media mail. Okay. This you can actually find directly under the packages weight section, as I'll show you here. And then you'll see in dark letters a section that says extra services and you click on that button when you click on that it brings three options those three options are signature confirmation insurance and then media mail so if you have books music or films um so educational materials only you can actually send those with media mail and get a really nice steep discount in terms of the shipping price because typically when you're sending books and stuff like that, they are going to be a bit more expensive just based solely on the weight. But if you want to try that out as well, you can, uh, for the same weight, you can send something as qualified as media mail and it will actually give you discounted prices on shipping for that specific item. Just make sure, and it'll say this in the notes as well for that, just make sure that's all you're sending. You can send like a little thank you card in there, but don't send any goodies or, you know, gift packages or anything you would normally send in your Depop, um, you know, packages because that's actually prohibited. Okay, now on to packaging. I honestly think packaging is such a great way to express yourself. Make sure you're always sending a handwritten note, okay? So you can do this any way you'd like. I've gotten cards in bulk before from the dollar store. Really cute ones that I found that appeal to me and my brand. I just buy those in bulk and I literally write to the customer in those, thanking them for their purchase. And it just adds a really nice little touch. You don't even really have to go out and buy cards. You can just take plain printer paper, cut out little squares, write them notes, decorate the notes if you'd like, and then fold them up and put them in the package. So that's another thing you can do. You can write a little section at the bottom where you mention like your social media accounts. So whether it's your YouTube, your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever it is. If you have any promos going on, um, I usually like to tell my repeat customers if they uh, find me on Instagram or tag me on Instagram or even find me on YouTube, they can get 10% off the next time with my code. That kind of builds a community, I would say, and helps to get you brand awareness so people can find you on multiple platforms. In terms of outer packaging, there are a couple different options. Of course, Amazon is my personal go-to in terms of finding really nice poly mailers because nowadays you can find poly mailers of all different sizes, colors, design some of them have like flamingos some of them have donuts some of them are like black red you get it you can buy the poly mailers in bulk on amazon or if you want to be more eco-friendly kind of like my friend down below with her shop she uses uh just brown paper so she'll get brown paper bags she'll cut them up and then she'll package the items really good in the brown paper so that it's more environmentally friendly i would say so that's another option that you can use as well. There's other places that you can get packaging. So at dollar stores, you can honestly go and that's usually where I find my boxes to ship things in. Um, so I'll go to the dollar store, I'll find boxes. Um, you can find same thing, poly mailers there. You can find padded envelopes, padded poly mailers. So if for whatever reason you don't really want to get them in bulk on Amazon, you can just go to your local dollar store and you can find um, the poly mailers there as well. What a lot of Depop uh, sellers do is they'll add little goodies into the packaging. So they'll add like candy 
or jewelry. You can put like little stickers. You can put any type of thing. You can honestly put so many different types of things in there. So that's also another thing that you can do is add little goodies to uh, their packaging to their bag so they get like a little surprise. Basically that's it in terms of shipping and packaging. If you have any more questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to respond to them. If you have anything else you'd like to know, Um, one more thing in terms of the explore page, I just thought I'd touch on this really quick. I have been on the explore page a couple times. It gets your shop so much exposure. It's, it's actually not too difficult. I can show you here some of the pictures, here's screenshots of some of the times I've been on the um, explore page. So if you look here, here's one and then here's another one. So, um, the explore page does have a theme, but I wouldn't say it's like a consistent that's the same thing that we're gonna have every time. So sometimes it's based on the color, I would say, or like the item. I'm not quite sure how it works, to be honest, but I can give you my tips on basically what has helped to get me there. But first and foremost, you wanna make sure that you have really nice pictures. So whether that's try on pictures that have like a cool vibe, or even if you do flat lays with a really nice background, um, you just wanna have clear, on point beautiful pictures and i know i say this a lot but aesthetic pictures <laughs> having the items just kind of pop and have a specific look is what you want to go for also this can't hurt i don't know if it has anything specifically to do with it but you probably want to have good descriptions as well pricing of your item doesn't really matter for the explore page they will you know have items anywhere from i would say five dollars to like five thousand dollars on there not that i've ever seen one that's five thousand but you catch my drift really more so what this is depending on the theme and also be consistent with posting i think if you have over 50 things on there they'll be able to kind of notice your shop and see that you have a consistent kind of theme going in your shop and you can even be a beginner i believe when my first um item went on the explore page i think i was only about three months in three or four months in i was pretty new to the whole thing um and then it kept going from there i had shoes on there i had um you know like this this uh set that i'd styled on there which i can show you as well so um yeah it's it really just depends on you know the pictures there's a lot of different factors but just make sure number one your pictures are on point Number two, it looks clean, clear, beautiful. And number three, have a good selection of items so they know that your shop is active and consistent. And then four, have a good description. So you guys, if you have made it this far, thank you so much. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, you can comment, uh, make sure you hit that bell button so you know when I'm posting new content. Um, but yes, besides that, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I love you guys. Bye.